Well, I think we may have bought out the whole store. Your mom wanted to parade, you know. <laughs> Thank you for talking her down to just a barbecue. Well, <laughs> only after I told her she was in charge of cooking. Yeah. Yeah. Do not pretend like you are not so happy about that. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I love both your cooking completely <laughs> equally. A terrible liar. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to come home to you. I cannot wait for you to come home. I'm home, oh. Mom! Hmm. Well, your daughter is perfect timing. Oh, <laughs> hey, Allie, driving. come talk to your dad. Hi, Dad. Hey there. <laughs> hey, alligator. How was practice? Um, it was good. Uh, Coach Reed says I need to work on my dribbling a bit. Hey, is that makeup I'm seeing? No, Dad. It's just lip gloss. Lip gloss which is still makeup so dad really lip gloss is like chapstick with a shine right did i hear makeup <laughs> all right oh next thing you know it's time to go bra shopping oh my oh god, my oh god. god. Oh, Frank, i cannot no. believe you just said that all right guys time to go duty calls okay i love you i love you and don't worry i will bring this big ugly lug back next week you promise? I promise. Okay. Better. Bye, guys. Love you. Love you. Allie, can you get that, sweetheart? Uh, my dad's not home. Actually, we're here to see Mrs. Bradley. Yeah. Um. Mom! It's for you! Do you want to come in? Have to see how beautiful these turned out. No. No, you're at the wrong house. You need to leave. Mom. Get out. Allie, can you go to your room, please? Mrs. Bradley, the Secretary of the Army has asked us to express his deep regret that your husband, Lieutenant James Bradley... Don't! <laughs> Don't you dare say it. I just spoke to him three days ago. He was killed in action last night in southern Afghanistan. I'm very sorry, ma'am. You'll receive a complete report as soon as possible, but what I can tell you is that your husband's platoon was ambushed and came under heavy enemy fire. The secretary wishes to extend his deepest sympathy to you and your family in this tragic time. A casualty assistance officer will contact you within a few hours to help you make arrangements for the funeral. Mom, I'm sorry. Thanks for the coffee. Well, you made it. You look like shit, Frank. You want something to eat? I'm okay. Damn faucet won't stop leaking. I can fix it. You know, Frank, I appreciate you coming over and checking up on us, but you really don't have to want to. Hey, Allie. Allie. You cannot just hide in that room of yours. It's been weeks, honey. You have to try to go back to school. Allie. Allie! She won't go back to school. She won't come out of her room. She won't talk to me. Go talk to her. I think you lost something, alligator. 
Shouldn't you be out here practicing your dribbling? What's the point? Because it's something you love. I don't care anymore. Allie, I need you to stay strong for your mom, okay? If I do, will you come home? Hey, Allie, you okay? So you don't want to go to school, huh? It's okay to talk to me. Talk about what, Uncle Frank? How everything is going to be okay, or how he'll always be with me, even though he's not here. I find that hard to believe. It's okay to be sad. Hell, I'm sad too. Your daddy loved you so He's much. He's dead now, so it doesn't matter, does it? I'm sorry. You promised me you'd bring him home. You promised. Susan? Hey, Susan? Just came by to see if I could fix a faucet. It's crazy. It's, it's the most ridiculous thing that I've ever heard. A widow's tax. I mean, what, what kind of a jackass came up with that? Okay, listen. My husband sacrificed his life for this country. What kind of twisted policy is that? Well, that is just bullshit. That's right. You can't help me. <laughs> oh. Okay. No. No, Frank, I am not okay. I know how frustrating this process is, but let me help. Frustrated? You think I'm frustrated? Frustrated, Frank, is when the radiator gives out. Or when Allie doesn't do her chores. Frustrated is not when your husband dies and leaves you with a kid that desperately needs their dad. I'm frustrated is definitely not when your government doesn't give a shit. So no, Frank, I'm not God 
goddamn frustrated. I'm fucking angry. I am angry that he's not here with me and I'm angry that you came home instead of him. Why didn't you protect him out there? Why didn't you? You're supposed to bring him home to me. You're hurting too. Hello? Hello. Uncle Frank! Hey. Hi. Another casserole. We get oh, the jackpot. Did you cook that, Frank? No. no. Uh, Mary did. It was on the porch. Oh, mm -hmm. macaroni, macaroni Mary. Mary. Mm. Nice gas. You want me to heat it up? Uh, no, no. no. Um, but you can fill the water glasses. Okay. Okay. What about me? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Every time I look at that picture, I think about that time you guys played that prank on Brad Miller. All that toilet paper. <laughs> Your mom was she so was pissed. pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Adolescence. That was two years ago, Frank. I seriously don't know how it 
how we would have made it through the last few weeks without you being here. Thank you. I feel better knowing that you were with him in those final moments. Frank. What happened out there that night? I know it's really hard on you. He was your big brother. There was an ambush. Firefight broke out, and James and I got separated immediately. I didn't even know if he was still alive at that point. Explosion went off and knocked me unconscious. When I came to, I, I still couldn't see anything. There was too many of them, too many smoke bombs. these footsteps coming up behind me. And I whipped around. I took the shot. Susan. I'm the one who shot and killed James. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> 